most important election of my lifetime. And it's not, be, it's not because my name is on the ballot. My name is on the ballot because it's the most important election of our lifetime. A congressional seat that was long considered a Republican stronghold, now blue. Democrat Lizzie Fletcher, a political newcomer, going to Washington, D.C. to replace longtime Republican John Culverson, representing neighbors in Texas's 7th Congressional District. And joining us now, it's Lizzie Fletcher, live on KHOU 11 News at 4.30. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thanks for joining us. Okay, so you flipped a seat that's been held by a Republican for 52 years. We saw you on election night. Were you actually surprised that this this happened or did you feel pretty confident about this? I felt very confident going in. Obviously it was a close race, mm -hmm. but we had an incredible team which was really a coalition of people from across this community that came together to support the campaign and by the time we were going into election day, I felt very good about what was lying ahead that night. Now you run as a Democrat. During your campaign you pledged to work with both sides. Many see you as, as a moderate. Is that an accurate description? I think that's a fair description. I think that I'm a representative of Houston and that's the job and I think that that's what I'm going to Washington to do. Um, I think it's important to work with people on both sides of the aisle. There's no monopoly on good ideas. Good ideas come from everywhere and you've got to be willing to work with everybody. So I think that what we're going to see in this Congress is a real effort to work across the aisle to reach bipartisan consensus where we can on things that the American people have been saying for years they want us to move forward with and we are now sending a lot of new members to Congress who are very focused on doing exactly that. I want to talk about the political ads and the TV ads because there was a record amount of money spent on them this season by a lot of candidates, especially for a midterm election. We don't typically see that. Um, do you think that your ads were essentially effective in getting your message across? I do think that uh, my ads for my campaign were effective. My favorite one was the very first one that we put out, which mm -hmm. was the Houston ad, um, talking about how we do things here in Houston. And that really was the driver and the organizing principle of this campaign, which is we care about each other we work together, that's what we need in Washington. And so I think that it was a great way for me to be able to introduce myself to the community as a political newcomer. Um, I've lived here nearly all of my life, but I haven't run for office before. And so being able to get out there in front of people, talk about my vision of what it means to be from this community and to represent it, but also to talk seriously about issues like healthcare, which was the number one thing people talked to me about mm -hmm. on the campaign trail for 18 months. And to be able to talk about solutions and not just problems, I think that those ads really did a good job of introducing me and those issues to the voters. Now this wasn't a major issue but you've talked about better mass transit in Houston. Um, now the big question is how do you accomplish that? Well, there are a lot of ways to accomplish it, and certainly um, right now I know Metro is working with the Houston Galveston Area Council on a region-wide transit plan, and I think it's really important to have advocates in Washington who are helping bring the resources that are out there to bear. So there are a lot of ways to get involved in Washington on transit issues and transportation, supporting those initiatives and helping bring that back to Houston to help us maximize our local ability to do things, to build out new systems and to build out this plan. And there are federal resources available and we need to make sure that we get our share of them. So orientation begins tomorrow in D.C., is that correct? <laughs> That's okay. right. I'm on an early morning flight. You're ready to go. What do you hope to accomplish in the next two years? Well, I'm so excited for the next two years, and I think that there's so much that we need to do. So I'm very optimistic that this Congress is going to work to solve the kinds of problems people have been talking about. Health care, mm -hmm. comprehensive immigration reform, making sure that we are putting our country back on track to make progress and not roll back the progress uh, that we have worked so hard to achieve. And I think I think you're going to see that from this Congress. I think we've elected a lot of new members who are committed to actually solving problems and not just talking about them and complaining about them. And so I'm excited to be a part of that group. I'm excited to be a part of this wave of women candidates and a lot of first time candidates and political newcomers who are going to Washington with a fresh approach, who are willing to be bipartisan and who are excited to do the work of governing. Mm -hmm. Well, there will be a lot of eyes on you from both sides. So thank you so much, Congresswoman-elect Lizzie Fletcher. Thank